welcome to Salisbury TV. We're in Manchester, we're here to interview Rob Holiday. He's played with some people like Marilyn Manson, he's played with The Prodigy, and now he's got a new band called Sulphur. Come and check it out, let's go. Welcome to Salesphere TV. I'm going to get straight into it. Um, so, Rob, how's your 2012 going? And uh, basically, yeah, what are your plans for, for Sulphur? Uh, 2012 is quite tiring, to be honest, at the minute. Yeah. Especially the drive to Manchester today. So, uh, I think it took me four hours almost from Birmingham. And uh, a few of the other other members, they've been on the roads for five hours and they're still not here. So, yeah, 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 yeah. we're waiting for them. Pretty yeah, so pretty tiring, really, for 2012. But exciting as well. Yeah, there's lots of things going on. Imagine your time between recording with with Sulfur and yeah, you, you're trying to use with the Prodigy. Yeah, I mean Prodigy at the moment we're just doing festivals, so it's kind of you know a couple of days a week, mm -hmm. a couple of times, you know, with a week off here and there, and then in between during the week I'm in London recording, trying to finish up the Sulfur album with Monty, yeah. and uh, you know we're doing the occasional shows uh, tonight in Manchester, yeah. and um, yeah, we've got another one coming up in London. In yeah. September, yeah. Yeah, so it should be pretty exciting. But yeah, um, yeah I mean, well, the other thing I was going to ask as well with, with Sulfur, you guys are kind of like um, back when you started out, you were the kind of the champions of the industrial scene. Now, obviously, you've uh, you had that kind of heavy industrial element, but this new stuff appears to be a bit more melodic. So I was going to kind of ask you, yeah. what do you feel about uh, sort of the industrial music scene and electronic music sort of ah. in 2012? Yeah, I mean, uh, people said we were industrial. I suppose we were because we were similar to you know nails and ministry and all that sort of thing, but we never really. I don't know if people try to pigeonhole us into the whole goth industrial, yeah. I, don't know, I don't know what, I've never seen myself as a gothic band, I mean, I suppose we're sort of industrial. Um, the, first, the first album was quite aggressive and more, more just about pure sonic assault really, um, but the new, the new one, well, we've been working on it for a long time, so I guess we, um, we just want, well, we wanted to make it different obviously, we didn't want to make the same one twice and um, yeah, I suppose we concentrated on more song. Yeah. Song-wise, you know, of course, we concentrate on the lyrics more, and we just headed down the road that was natural. Really, we didn't, we didn't sort of make a conscious effort to go right. We're going to be more poppy or more song-oriented. It just, it just turned out that way. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, I mean, some of the songs I feel, I mean, some of the old audience probably won't like because it's. I mean, I quite like it. It's far, it's far more melodic, like, as you say. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see what they think. You've done recently is uh, you've had uh, Riley and Durant, which is obviously mm, electronic, yeah, yeah. And electronic and dance yeah. to a remix one of the tunes of Tomorrow, yeah. I believe. So yeah. what what led up to that? And, and are you uh, you were quite a fan, I believe. <laughs> well, I, well I'm, I mean, I'm I'm not really into that sort of music in general. I don't I don't ever listen to it to be honest. Um, but there's a song called Tomorrow, like you say. Uh, it's a it's not a ballad, but it is a ballad. It's basically just an acoustic guitar with cellos and strings, and the vocal, which is really it's kind of in your face and vulnerable. So. Um, uh, Andy Durant basically got played the song and liked it and thought he, you know, he asked us if it was cool if he did a dance remix and I was kind of like, oh, well, you know, yeah, okay. I was kind of dreading hearing it. Yeah, I mean, basically all I ever think of is t -t 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 -t, that kind of thing, but which it kind of is. But what he's done with it is really good. Yeah, and I think he's he's playing it on Capital FM and busting it in Ibiza. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty weird for um, for yeah. us to think of it like that. Takes you out to a whole different audience. And yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, I mean, it sounds good. It fits. Mm. I mean, that's probably the best song for him to do because it was so basic. There was nothing really in it. There was no electric guitars or drums or you know chugging metal stuff. It was yeah, yeah. It was pretty basic. So he could do really what he wanted with it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I like it. Yeah, that's cool. And uh, tonight, I mean, you're obviously playing with with a lot of uh, kind of new bands, developing yeah. bands, and obviously you yourself have collaborated with everybody from Manson to <laughs> Prodigy, yeah. Curve. You know, how do you feel about kind of supporting new bands and obviously you know putting you know trying to put your name out there to support um, emerging bands and, and collaborating where possible? Yeah, I mean, that's what we, we basically wanted to. Well, we haven't done many shows since we sort of got back together. We've been writing the record, obviously, um, but we we wanted to play Manchester for a while, and then. Someone mentioned Obsessive Compulsive, they're a local band and I checked them out and I think they're really cool and yeah, they seem really cool people, so mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. We basically wanted them to play with us tonight and uh, 
and then a couple of the other bands too. I mean, I'm not really familiar with them, but yeah, yeah. I'm familiar with Obsessive Compulsive and they seem cool, so mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to seeing them play tonight, to be honest. Yeah. Absolutely. Plus they're letting us use their drum set, so I'll try, I'll try not to smash it, because <laughs> it's not ours. Yeah, you, yeah, I know, you've got a bit of a history in that. Right. <laughs> yeah. Keep the low phone yeah, for Manchester. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And the other thing I was going to ask too, with, with you've got kind of a nice relationship with Wallhouse Studio, mm-hmm. from the major yeah, yeah. sort of creative media agency, yeah. um, and, and that's that's really interesting because um, the way that you are put across, you, you know, there's this definite image behind Sulfur, and I kind of wanted to to get your opinion because you've been with quite visual bands, obviously mm-hmm. Manson yeah. and uh, mm-hmm. and the Prodigy, you know, there's, yeah. there's a certain sort of image and style associated with that. So, how do you feel about image in music, and how important it is in relation to to what you do with Sulfur? I mean. I've always hated the fact that it's important because you know I'd rather, you know, I didn't get dressed up for you. Uh, you were in a tie and everything, and I'd, you know, I'm wearing raggy old jeans and dirty old boots. I would prefer to just, I prefer everybody to be able to just wear what they want, but it yeah. doesn't really work that way. No. Any bands that ever make it, and any bands that are ever, I mean, you cut like I say in Manchester, you got Oasis, Stone Roses. They play a certain type of music. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're not going to get someone who's wearing a raincoat and. I don't know what those guys wear playing in a band like Marilyn Manson because it's just it's just not the done thing. You know, it's just not what happens. And anyone that thinks that it does is wrong. I mean, it's a shame that you can't just look how you want. Yeah. yeah. So um, I mean, image is important, especially for a live live show and videos. Yeah. I mean, I'm probably quite artistic that way, and I love all that stuff. So and all the imagery. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it is important. I wish it wasn't. Yeah, no. But it is. Did you, did you, were you pushed into it? Because I know you had the, you had the makeup on. Um, man, so did you, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you, uh, were you pushed I mean, I'd never worn makeup ever before, and I was kind of dreading that, but he was cool, and he just. He basically. I mean, you know what it looked like, I looked like before, so I guess he just thought that. Uh, I guess he had a respect for yeah, yeah. that look that I had anyway. I mean, yeah. he's not going to invite someone into the band that doesn't look like he wants, obviously. Yeah. But he basically just let me do what I wanted. Obviously, if he didn't like something, he would say it, which he didn't. So yeah, absolutely. yeah, okay, everything worked out really cool. Yeah, absolutely. With that. Yeah, yeah, but I, I shaved my eyebrows off. Well, he shaved them off. I didn't particularly want to do that. <laughs> so he said, I know the whole band had the uh, eyebrows gone. So yeah, so yeah, Kevin. Kind of he said, if you want them off, you got to take them off. So he did. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. A nice initiation. Yeah, so that was good. Absolutely. I was going to ask with, with the new record have you, got a, have you got a working title and stuff yet what's um, the score with that like, there was a couple of working titles but I mean we prob- we're probably going to go with something else okay I'm um, not really sure yet. I think it was the lead before yeah or? yeah it's not, it's not going to be that anymore that's just that was yeah yeah kind of, a, kind of a yeah. playing around with a few things oh, yeah cool it doesn't really fit all the songs anymore, so... Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, is there kind of a song uh, that you feel most proud of, that you've been working on for that record, um, one, that you, one that really stands out for you that means the most? I mean, tomorrow, this, this cello, violin-oriented ballad type thing is really... I mean, I really like it because it's such a departure for what we normally do. Um, you Threw It All Away is really cool. It's kind of nailsy type thing. It's got a piano and then quite a heavy melodic chorus. But then there's another song called No One Will Ever Know. Mm. It's kind of like a, it's a really heavy riff, detuned. It's like, kind of reminds me of a Ramstein riff. The singing's obviously nothing like Ramstein, but mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, I, I like I like playing that one live, especially one of the, as far as one of the new ones goes. Yeah. 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 Cool. And what about yourself personally? Obviously, you know, since Sofa was out originally, you know, back then, you've changed yeah. a lot, you've, you've, your career's developed, you've been with you've been with these tour the world with these bands and you're still yeah. doing that. So how have you developed yourself as a musician? Because obviously you must, <laughs> have, you must have changed yourself and then changed your kind of priorities in terms of uh, lyrics and ideas, stuff like that. I don't really, no, I don't, no, I don't really, don't really follow anything else to be honest. We, we, we as individuals don't really, don't really try to listen to other bands and copy them, we kind of, Try to not listen to anything while we're doing, while we're trying to write our stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I'm pretty well stuck in all the stuck in all the stuff I've always been into. Yeah, yeah. yeah like Filter, Ministry, Nails, you know all that, and the '80s Depeche Mode and the Cure and all that. Yeah, I mean I like the new the new heavy stuff. Deftones are another band I really like. Yeah. But as far as like young young bands like Bring Me the Horizon and all the Gallows and all those kind of English bands, I don't. I mean I hear bits and pieces, but I mean I'm not. Not really influenced by any of it. Yeah, it doesn't grab you as much, nah. as, the, as, much as the old school. No, nah, no, nah, not at all. Well, to be honest, that's cool. I mean, it's not that I don't like it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, and obviously, like all the imagery of the life stuff of Rob Zombie and you know Manson, obviously, and Ramstein are great life. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And so, what about how have your goals changed? Then, because obviously, you've got to have uh, goals for for this kind of comeback, this new record. Yeah. How have they changed since two thousand? You know, obviously, you must have thought differently. Um, no, I don't. I don't know, it's just like you're, you're wondering if the people that liked your stuff before are going to like the new stuff because it's been, it's been a long time. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, we just, we just do it for ourselves, to be honest. Yeah, we enjoy, we enjoy writing and recording and we just, we just make it sound like we want it to sound and hope someone else likes it in the end. Yeah. But if not, that's, that's the way it is. We like it, but... Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And what about, um, what, are you, what are the goals for the rest of this year? What are your plans? Well, what, what, are you going to be touring extensively? Obviously, um, you've got a schedule. Well, yeah, yeah. Too. I mean, I've got the Prodigy stuff. And Tim's got some Gary Newman stuff, um, but we should have the record finished totally by the end of August, start of September. I mean, that's the definite goal. We've been saying that for a long time, but that's the definite goal. And then we've got um, we've got a show with um, Officers and Jace Lewis at the Underworld in Camden on the 28th of September. So that's the next 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 good one. Yeah, that'll be good. We're looking forward to that because that'll be a good night. With those guys. And more shows up north from this course eventually. Hopefully, as long as the traffic doesn't uh, yeah. <laughs> prevent us from getting like it does today. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and what about other Because obviously you're so you're so associated with this kind of um, the, all these bands that you've worked mm. with for years. What about outside of music? What kind of things you know? Do, do you what kind of things do you enjoy outside of kind of tearing stages up and breaking yeah, things? I, like, with, uh, with I like staying in. <laughs> I like staying. I, I do all my partying and my. Uh, Rebel Rising when I'm out, yeah, so I like to stay in. And uh, I mentioned to you before, I've been back uh, playing ice hockey for a while. But, uh, awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling all the body checks because I'm not that not that big of a guy, so. Yeah, different, yeah. different, way, different way of taking out your aggression, I think, as well. Yeah, I mean, they, take, they get to take their aggression out on me. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, and what about a message, just, fin- just finishing off now, uh, obviously, this new incarnation, well, uh, this developed incarnation of Sulfur, mm-hmm. uh, these, these, these new plants, have you got a message for the fans that are, here tonight that um, supported you in London and, and they've continued to support you in the yeah I, w- I want to say thank you to everybody for you know hanging around for so long and uh, you know having faith in that we're actually going to finally bring another record out and uh, get out there and live and thanks to everyone who comes out to watch us yeah fantastic yeah. fantastic. thank you very much everybody, cheers. especially you <laughs> right, it's a pleasure cheers <laughs> thank Rob. you thank you very much thanks man cool that's on TV and uh, thank you very much to Rob and uh, we'll enjoy the gig tonight